Hello everybody, it's Peter here with GoodyReader.com. On the right, Kindle Oasis 2017. On the left, Kobo Aura 1. These are the latest and greatest from uh, both Amazon and Kobo. We're going to look at the hardware first. Now the Oasis, since the Oasis 2016, has looked very strange. You'll notice a very, very thin design and a very thick portion where all the electricals are in the battery. But the majority of the device uh, is actually very thin. You have a power button on one side, nothing on this side, nothing on this side, and a USB port on the top with a very overactive gyroscope. You have uh, manual page turn buttons and you have uh, light sensors. And the back is a very nice aluminum-esque feel. And it's a, oops, it's a very nice looking device overall. A little strange to hold, great in one hand, weird in both hands. The Kobo Aura 1 is more conventional kind of bar uh, layout. Both are flush screen and bezel by the way, so you won't have that dip that you get on most e-readers. Nothing on either of the sides. The bottom has the USB port for charging and transferring data to and from the device. Top has nothing either. The button has been located on the back for power and the back is a very nice kind of hard rubber that offers a lot of grip and virtually no fingerprints, which is really nice. Looking at the home screens on both of these, they're quite different. You have my library up here with a uh, your books, you have my reading list, and more like the book you've just read offered by the store. You have library here, a couple books up there, and um, you have also kind of more sections where you can go home, my books, my collections, and all that kind of stuff. We'll just quickly glance over the settings. You'll see you have account, overdrive. I'm not gonna go through all of these obviously because you know that's, it'll take 20 minutes to do that. Um, you have reading settings. We'll just go to some reading options. You'll see what you have here. Page refreshes, uh, page refreshes every chapter, language learning, highlights about this book, progress, and all that kind of stuff. So if you want to see more individually on these, we do have individual videos. Uh, the Kindle also has Bluetooth, which you can scan for Bluetooth devices, although you can only connect to wireless headphones and wireless speakers. You can't connect to like phones and stuff like that. So we'll go to the library or my books on the Kobo. And you'll see that this is the way they're laid out. You can go to uh, search by, sorry, organize by title, recent, author. You can select audible, books. You can go by authors and collections on here as well. Everything's laid out very well, very uh, straightforward. You're not gonna really get lost into anything here. You can swipe pages left and right. It shows you the amount of pages page 3 of 11, 2 of 6, and so forth. Looking at the top, you have Home, Back, Settings, Goodreads, and Store. And then here you have just the indications of uh, icons. You don't actually have the words. So if you click on Settings, you'll get Airplay Mode, Bluetooth, Sync My Kindle, and Settings. We'll show you the glow light later, but the glow light is activated through this section right here. The reading experience on both of these are pretty much the same in terms of page turn speeds and refresh rates. You're not going to see night and day anymore. Back in 2009, 2010, that thing kind of re that kind of thing really mattered. It doesn't really matter anymore. Uh, you have uh, manual page turns on the Kindle and no manual page turn buttons on the Kobo, but they both change very quickly. This isn't the same book, but it's very, very close to the same fonts and everything. We'll show you right here. I don't know how to say that, Cecilia, 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 whatever. So uh, they're, they're matching in that respect. You can change things like the font size, the line spacing, margins, same on the same on the Kindle, line spacing margins, everything changes live. The Kobo does, however, have advanced where you can choose the font weight, uh, thickness, and uh, you can click apply to select those settings. For the first time ever, um, the Amazon actually can do that as well. You can choose the amount of boldness. So much like the font weight, you can do that on here. So long pressing on a single word will open up a bunch of settings. We're just going to go to notes because we're going to show you guys the keyboard. Uh, the Kindle is a conventional QWERTY keyboard with the Q and the A staggered. The Kobo is unconventional with the Q and A on top of each other. So typing might be a little bit different and something that you might not be used to. So Kobo is a little bit unresponsive in terms of keeping up with typing. I typed that pretty perfectly and it didn't catch the R. So we'll click uh, save on both of these. We'll long press on another word here. 
and what we can do is we can do highlights and when you highlight it kind of brings up uh, word wise sorry this wasn't doing it properly I wasn't really paying attention <laughs> so it brings on word wise which is a feature that you can check out on our full uh, review video we we kind of touch on that also long pressing allows you to go through dictionary Wikipedia and translation from pretty much any language to any language you see on that list you also have things like share to Facebook social media and other features like that the store experience is laid out a little differently, but they're both do roughly the same thing and they both lay it out quite well. So you have overview, top picks, categories, and here you're stuck on uh, for you in comics and graphic novels, pretty much like the last thing that you've clicked on or something. We can click on books. We can go to, not sure where books are here, but we can go view all. So this will allow you to view the top 50 books and this one tells you exactly how many books are in each individual category. We're just going to click on something to show you guys how they lay out their buying, uh, their purchase layouts. So you see that everything's under one roof here. As you scroll, everything will be there. You'll have customer reviews, customers also bought, written reviews, star ratings, and some editorial stuff. On the Kobo, you have to go tab by tab. So it's all kind of here. You don't really have to navigate away from the, uh, the page, but it's just kind of laid out a little differently. You can click preview now to preview it now, or you can on the Kindle click try a sample. Both of those do the same thing. Both of those download a preview to your e-reader. Straight away, you can see that the Kindle on the right here is not only brighter, it has a better distribution of light. You'll see along the sides right here, you get an overexposed white line. And then next to it, about a millimeter away, you get this gray puffing going on here, 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 and here where the LEDs are. So you can see, and obviously I'm nitpicking, these things are both fantastic, but if you know, you had to, if you had to choose, um, the Kindle has the an automatic bright sensor where we're not going to turn on because when you're in a completely dark room and you turn on the light sensor basically just goes away uh, the light that is so you can adjust the light like this and with the Kobo you can do the same thing click on the sunshine adjust the light accordingly you have to let go every single time though the beauty about the Kobo is not only does it have automatic light sensors like the Kindle does this also has natural light so you can change the degrees of Kelvin from all the way from really cool to extreme orange candlelight which isn't really great on the eyes kind of distracts you from reading but both of these handle their glow lights very well there is no clear winner here because this is a comparison video, not a contest to see which one is better. If you guys have any other questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below and you can go to youtube.com slash goodyreader to see videos, individual videos on each of these devices. For goodyreader.com, this is Peter. Everyone have a great day.